good morning how it do today we're going to watch um all the new stuff hellbent dropped yesterday on october 11th first thing we got is a uh 45 second hallways of horror special event trailer welcome dear friends to the hallways of horror the quaint high school of Pine Bluff has been transformed into Pine Blood in honor of this spookiest of seasons. There's pumpkins to smash, a new toy in the trash. Oh my god, the drip. A horrific double oh my god. You screaming for more. So grab your friends, suit up for some scares. But that wave and though. Walk down the hallways of hope. Oh my god, he's doing the dance. You see the guy oh. back there? He's doing the spooky dare. dance. Bro, that's the spooky dance guy. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Spooky dance guy give. Yup. <laughs> it's that guy. Look, they made a cosmetic of him. I didn't know it would come up, so I pulled it off screen. But that looks cool. Um, so I've already kind of read the dev notes, and I did watch it off stream. So it seems like this is a, a teaser for some limited time events. Uh, that's why I was checking the movies right here, because I think they will be here. They'll just be challenges. And then there is uh, stuff to look around on a new version of school. So I don't know if regular school will be available. Maybe it'll only be that, or maybe there'll be two different queues. I don't know. But um, new event, new trash can item. Pumpkins to smash as teen for random stuff. And on monster, you can find a gourd. If I recall correctly, a gourd. I, wait, I don't know don't know who went where when the pumpkins or the gourd affect things. But yeah, we'll see. Rewatcher. Oh, hey, do you want to help me with this? And then here is the October 11th Dev Notes vlog, which I have already also pre-watched. But for your enjoyment, enjoy. Week's video update. Uh, I love to, but I'm pretty busy with the Halloween. Episode. Lordly Pog. Sure. People love to hear your voice. It's <laughs> good Me. to hear, but yeah, Me. Uh, I think they'll love to see the update as well. Okay. Keep working hard. Thanks. Are you so hey, cute with this little dirty uh, hair? You want to do a gameplay oh. update with me? Nobody wants to see me do a gameplay update. I want to see them eyebrows, boy. Well, hey, Eric. Oh, uh, hi. Hey, could you possibly help He has me great eyelashes. Uh, sure, but it's gonna have to wait. I'm doing really important gameplay animations right now. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Yo, not the Metroid. Hey, Sydney. Hey. He's playing that Samus, yo. Update with me? Yeah. Sorry, I just have to take this. Hello? Is, is this gonna be a while? Sorry, guys. Oh, hey, Ali. Oh, hey. Could you help me with this week's video update? Oh, yeah, sure. I've actually had a lot of things to talk about. About the, remember the last death bar? Video oh no, we got a monologuer. Yeah. Oh I no. Quite badly, and uh, the, the eyeball whip was uh -huh. completely out of context, and um, I really. Um, yeah. You know what? I just realized. I, I can Dude, is this guy watching the Worlds? Video. Oh my God, he is. Uh, Check out that guy in the bank watching oh, Worlds, yeah, man. Sure. Oh hey Ross. Hey. Can you help me with a video update for this week? All right, this is perhaps one of the most epic beards I've ever seen. So either he doesn't grow hair here, or he purposely shaves it down. Either way, no. this guy's fairly epic. Also, I see the red in there, bro. He's got some auburn hey, hair. Hey, Karen. Hey, Chris. Hey, Motherfucking uh, Viking. I'm just gonna do a game update. No one will do it with me. Will you do it with me? Yeah, yeah. You'll do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah right now. That's awesome. Right, right now? Let's, let's do it. Karam. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pog. Hey, Karam. Hey, Chris. Thanks for doing the update with me. Fucking uh, hell. I, Honestly, I was so excited when you told me. I literally asked everyone in the studio. I kind of saw you. I was like the last option, which I'm kind of heard about. No, you look busy. I, I was not busy. Other I people... was watching you the whole time. Oh, sorry. When you told me. I oh, hey, for doing the update with me. Wow. Yo, check out this pen here. This is not a writing pen. Okay, so look at Chris. Chris has got a pencil, right? Aram has a stylus. This is what he used to, to draw things. Oh, I'm in. I'll sit in the middle of my home. But he uses this to draw things. You see that? A pleasure. I, Honestly, I was so excited when you told me. I literally asked everyone in the studio. I kind of saw you. I oh. was like the last option. Bro, you got cotton for Quay. No, you look busy. I mean, man I, is cleaned I, up. I was watching you the whole time. He's got the nice tan. Thank, thanks, anyway. 
Got the um, got the well trimmed so beard. October. It is. It's it is. fall. Halloween time. I see the leaves are changing outside. Right, right. It's yeah. Exciting. Do you like? Do you like Halloween? Halloween? Who doesn't like Halloween? I love I Halloween. Sydney, yeah. do you like Halloween? I love Halloween. Thanks for asking. Sydney's in the back. Sydney's in the back. She's, <laughs> she's, op- she's operating the she's boom today. today. The camera. Um. Yeah, I love Halloween. Are you Are you dressing up for Halloween? I am. Oh, secret. Secret. What are you dressing up as? Um. Tell me. It's era appropriate. Era appropriate. To the 80? game. Oh, eighties. Maybe. Yeah. You're dressing up as Dollmaster. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say because I've said too much already. But yes. Really. I'm dressing up. I have to hold oh, you to okay. it now because. Oh, I did, oh, I, yeah. I have to dress up now. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. I have to bleep you now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is, this That's is right. age appropriate. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. My bad, my bad. No, it's good, it's good, it's good. Oh, okay. my. So, um, yeah, are we doing anything fun for Halloween in October in the game? Uh, I think we are. We are. We are. What we are we doing? Are. What are We're we doing? doing lots of things. I think we should start with what we, oh, Jeff and I had talked before. Right, right. And we had <laughs> given some updates on um, where the game was. Right. And some game balance things. Right. I, can, I have a few updates on that, so I want to do those first. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so Jeff's, Jeff's busy, and he can answer these way more in depth than I can. But we have done a few things. We've been testing a lot of things internally. But a couple things are ready, and they're in the game for this update. Ooh. The first one that's in the update is when monsters respawn after they've been struck by a stigma, they scream. Yeah. We tested it internally. I know we talked yeah. about it before, and it balanced really well. It makes the monster feel safe, safe and they don't get double struck by stigmas back to back, which feels terrible. Yeah. Now, one thing, uh, the only the only discrepancy I have between this because I haven't seen gameplay, they've only talked about it. Is it going to be like a shout after you get hit, or is it going to be like a rift cap shout? Because when you cap the rift as monster, it makes like your tension track, like it does like a little ripple from the rift point, right? And that like disrupts teens. But like when you shout, you lose vision of them by looking up. So like when you spawn in, are you instantly going to look up? Like I, that's what that's the only discrepancy I have with shout on. And I know people were worried about, I read in the forums, I've been watching people's feedback, they were really worried about this one. Mm -hmm. They were really worried about unbalance the game somehow, that people could use it in a sort of give them more power push, but it doesn't really do that from what I've seen. No. It makes you feel safe. It does. Like, I remember when I was going against it, and uh, I think it was, I played a couple of games, and we did not even have an effect of it. Mm. Like, we were just running around. We were like, okay, he's hit. He's going to Also, scream, scream fast. Let's go somewhere safer. But like, scream fast is only yeah, off hits, it right? It makes you think yeah. about, I don't want to be right in the spot where I'm vulnerable because if exactly. he does scream on top of me, I can't do anything. Like, right. Before, you could hide there with a weapon and then pop up and shoot the monster. Yeah. Me. Which feels terrible. <laughs> or he could try to spawn on a station and maybe get a lucky hit on it. I single-handedly contributed to this change so much for the amount of times I've caught monsters spawning aggressively. A teen. Exactly. You can You're still welcome. do that. Yep. I did um, this. I did. I it was all me. A teen that Opium. I would be cowered by it. Yeah. But I would, if as long as I wasn't just out in an open area, I, I was I was never. I don't think there's a way the monster can guess enough to understand that so. it's, it's all guess when you're in the monster yeah. right because you're coming out of com- complete vision like random vision of like mm-hmm. okay where is everyone right i'm in like, karam's anything, you chest can spawn into and maybe an eyeball that's outside of the crow- cowering thing right yeah. so they can like hit you that way this too. is my so home now i don't think it takes away anything from the teens yeah. if anything it makes playing monster a bit more safer and a bit more fun as well yeah and no one wants to be struck twice in a row oh, so no, that's anyway so we're fun. we're confident enough that we're pushing that into the build yeah. and we're also for monsters adding a ping system oh Teens have had ping systems all along so they can communicate to each other. But the monster pings are a little different. The monster can place up to three pings in the world Mm -hmm. and they can remove a ping by just looking at where they placed a ping in the world, like much like where the doll master looks at one of his dolls. You can look at the ping and place a ping again and it will remove that ping. And also if you're in a small room and you place a ping near one of your pings, it actually just moves the ping. It doesn't delete the ping. But pings can be used for a number of things. They, for monsters, they can mark a location where they say they found the Book of the Dead. Yep. They can mark where that is and monitor if someone's picked up the book or not. They can... Um, ping if, pinging stations? Yeah, they can ping, They can mark a station or something yep. that they know that the teens are around. They can see the stations, obviously, but they can mark like different locations. I love near monster oh, pings, really, a.k.a. Like, yeah, like landmarks. Yeah, a lot of times they have a hard time finding where the healing stations are, yeah. especially on new maps. Right. So Because yeah. you, you can just brain off even monster, more. I'm about that. Like, okay, this is where this is. This is where this is. Mm-hmm. My brain is so empty when I'm playing monster, dude. this is where they might go. Yeah. So totally like changes the whole gameplay of that. yeah and you also can ping when you knock a teen down right which is really advantageous but the teens need to make an adjustment there they need right. to learn they also they need to go around and, and collect aura but they also need 
Aura. Aura? What, what? Oh, Uma. Uma. Thank you, Sydney. <laughs> My brain's always, always going to be on the old terms we used. Orbs. 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 So they have to, they can go around and collect Luma, and uh, or they can move. And moving right. is, is as important as collecting Luma in some regards. You need to get a little bit away from where you are because the monster could tag exactly where you were. Right. And if he sees you get up, run back there immediately. Right. Another one, obviously, that you can't move from is if you're downed dead. Mm -hmm. The monster can tag that spot. And if there's a resurrection from the Book of the Dead, they know. Because exactly. sometimes it's really hard as a monster if you killed somebody to remember by the time they get the book yep. and they find the body and start I'd be forgetting where they die yeah. bodies, you, right. have a, you really have to look around the map to try to figure out where did I kill that person before right. especially if you play map after map after yeah, map it, it's like it runs together if you play three facilities in a row and you have to like oh, did I kill them in, in, I'm thinking, in that yeah, room exactly so, and, and I think with the monster too you have so much on your mind like, mm -hmm. you have to be, okay how many Hold me. how many weapons do they have okay does anyone injured is anyone healed yeah. okay where what weapons do they need what weapons do they like are they you know, it's oh, so much going on hold. in your head, and I feel like whenever I do play for Monster, it's a bit stressful. Reset, hold. But with this new patch that's coming out, I think it, like, totally oh, hold. uses all that yeah. like, stress. You One insist. of the big pieces, Monster has obviously um, been a challenge. We're trying to make sure that's that's not as stressful, mm -hmm. and they feel more powerful, and you have a better tool set. Chris. A lot of that's not... We're trying to make sure we don't diminish the, the teen experience. That's Papa Hellbent right and there. And one of the things I know that He's everyone's the boss. really been concerned about is the ambushes right and we have been testing internally with some things making weapons make noises and doing some other things we're in the middle of that and it's not quite ready yet so we're still working really hard on that and we know that's a big issue for a lot of people so we're not um we're not this isn't everything this is just the beginning we're still working a lot on that yeah. but we just thought we'd get a couple things in right away that we knew worked mm -hmm. and then we'll move on to um those other pieces because we're also pushing out giant builds all the time so yeah. It takes a while for us to get this uh, going, but we're really, it's really important to us, and we're going to get it done for sure. Nice. All right, so awesome. what's up next? Uh, the... We got some... Oh, there's some sneak previews. Yeah, so Ooh. I was going to say, do you want to talk about the monster perks? Monster perks, yes. So right now, monster perks and teen perks um, come out with a monster or a teen. Right, yeah. Um, so when Deathwear came out, there were new monster perks mm -hmm. and um, mutations for that monster. And even um, weapon mods and things like that are all tied to releases of certain things. We didn't want to wait for a full monster or full teen, so we yeah. came up with an idea of a booster pack that could be released. That's cool. This is our first time. Okay, to preface this, this is so amazing for staggering content. Booster packs for perks, booster packs for weapon mods, booster pack for monster mutations. It allows them to adjust the game without doing full releases and... If anything, like, you know, the whole rotating stigma idea we constantly talk about, like, oh, it'd be cool if, like, you could have random stigmas certain days. Booster packs could very well also end up being that, like, new weapons. Some I'm hearing it, so yeah. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. So the booster pack, the way it works is basically there'll be a limited edition movie with some cool narrative attached to it. Right. And it better be cool. Narrative. <laughs> narrative? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and the... the the movie will allow you to unlock perks for the teens, for the monsters, for yeah. and weapon mods mm -hmm. and mutations and all those things, but not attached to a specific monster. So we can add a new perk for a monster, a new perk for a teen. That's good. That, oh, Eviscerator's teens Omega teen sided. Yeah. So we could add different, a certain class um, perk if we wanted to. But, so that's something we want to get going pretty soon because yeah. that helps us change the gameplay in significant ways and test right. out new gameplay in significant ways without having to wait for a major release. So we can we can interject new gameplay like that. That's really cool. And I think it changes up the dynamic. And as well as if you want to change your builds like here and there and go nuts and go crazy, mm -hmm. it's, you don't have to wait for a new monster to try that. Yeah. You can just, with these booster packs, it's going to like yeah, change the absolutely. game. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. So, I mean, we can also put other things in those limited edition movies right. too, like fun cosmetics or other things, whatever, yep, we, exactly. whatever we come up with. But that's just a nice mechanic for us to release stuff that, that we- They're talking like um, these right here. Limited. So we have standards, aka your classics, three per teen, three versions of each of the three teen and, and monster, but limited. So you see how this will technically end. I think this one's the only one that actually ends two feet under. Like I imagine when the game's in full release, we'll be seeing this one, like this will be like the first and then there'll be other rentals, right? And then booster packs will be included in that stuff. Where Spectral Collectors, this one has a date technically, but it'll never end as long as you purchase the founders packs. So we can uh, that'll be the actual content when this game is just is, is pumping um, it out you know what i'm saying so that's not that's not right now right that's that's right. something that's we're working up. on it's coming up soon right um what else is coming soon 
What's coming out this week? This week. What, so that's you're telling this, us everything's coming up. This yeah, week, let's go. We have a lot of stuff. Um, fall catalog Ooh. is released this week. Drip and coming. It actually changed it up. Yeah, a bit. boy. The fall catalog. We found the summer catalog was great. Everyone and we saw some items. of the drip in that tra that teaser before. It looks so it. good. I had to keep scrolling. I'm not gonna lie. I had to scroll <laughs> so down and see how. We love the the amount of items. We loved having a longer run so people could um, grind to get the things rather than just paying for them because we really want people to play the game, grind and buy stuff. So they're not just they're not just we don't just want people spending cash. We want people playing the game too, right? So the the thing is with that one, we just felt like it was overwhelming. Watching some right. streamers go through it and they're like pages of stuff. Yeah. So we have broken it into four collections. It's still four collections like last time, but four discrete collections. One collection will happen. I don't remember how long it is. I think they're like 12, 13 days. I don't remember. But yeah. through October and November, the catalog will be running. Cool. And there'll be one collection, then it goes away. Another collection goes away through four collections. And I think I know what they're called too. I can sneak preview the names. Ooh. They're uh, Sweater Weather. Oh, okay it's, okay. it's the fall, so sweaters are important. Yeah. I think I made some of those. Autumn sunset. Okay. Do you know what that is? I don't know. I, autumn sunset? You made some of those? I, I think I made, I made some, some of those. those. I made some of those. After dark? Made some of those as made well. Some yeah, of those. I made some of those. Yeah. Get schooled. All right. So, yeah, those are the four collections. You'll have to imagine oh, cool. what, well, you won't have to imagine. I already know. You'll have to imagine what's in the collections, but they're, really cool they're stuff. full of cool stuff. Really, really cool stuff. Yeah. So, one thing people requested was a buy all button for the summer collection, and we never imagined people would want to buy I the entire bro, collection. But some right. people that did. was a couple a hundred dollars reached, easily. Reached Whoever so full bought Endless Summer built their first. Oh, right, my God. The, the four collections. So, cool. for each collection, if you really want that full collection, you can. <laughs> buy it all yeah now, so just for the people that are like grinding it or just want to like go someone with just it. wants to buy that it. was yeah. you it if was they you handbooks, they can do it built different it. dexter yeah, holy it. shit as long as they're happy we're happy all right what else is there coming out right now yeah. oh wait what time of year is it again it's halloween halloween it's october all oh, right at the same exact time as our our fall collections released right. we also have an event our first Ooh, event we have never done an event, event before our first in-game event and it's called the hallways of horror which is the teaser we just watched that's why i i knew this stuff yeah Shivers. it's got lots in it we've we've rethemed the high school map in a spooky yeah. halloween halloween, halloween. Theme, which is very cool the environment team just crushed it, it, looks, they, it looks really I, it's cool. it's insane i i remember walking into it and I can't say. I don't know how much I can say about oh, no, it's, it's launching. You can say. You can oh, say I can say about can, it? Yeah, yeah, it's launching. It's, it's oh, crazy. real? Okay. Like, all the yeah, we can look at the written there, notes, too. All, like the decorations and the fake blood and or the fake goo and stuff like that. There's and no blood. Oh, it's blood. Just, it's, mm -mm. it's real goo. It's nope. Real goo. It's not Chromatic it's aberration or real goo. No blood. T for team, baby. Yeah. Yeah. It has a lot of things in it I can talk about. It has two limited edition movies. Free limited edition Free. movies that come out with the event. What? And, well, so I was oh, going to say, do we get any cosmetics off these movies? Um, what do we get? They, do you want to know the names of the movies? Yeah, let's hear it. One's called Death O' Lantern. <gasps> and scared. Sounds, Pumpkin. Sounds scary, doesn't it? I, 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 like I said, I'm, I'm a huge horror. Like, uh, Is there anything you're scared of? A lot of things. Spiders? Uh, Yeah. I saw a spider actually yesterday. Yeah. That's pretty scary. Was it? It's like, it was like that big. There's no spiders, so you don't have oh, to Oh, thank God. You don't have to worry about <laughs> that. Um, right. Are you scared of like bats? No, bats are fine. Okay. What about clowns? Clowns are okay. Because we have a movie in here called Clowns. Uh -huh. With an clown. M. Clowns. 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 Yeah, clowns. Okay. <laughs> I think it's clown based though. Oh, it's clown based. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. You can unlock uh, all types of things in the movies. There's um, a series of cosmetics and things you can unlock in right. the movies. But it's time limited to the Halloween event. Oh, real? So um, at the end are Luby, Tubi, and Pixelicious? Return to the video store, Ooh. and you can't get them anymore. So if don't you don't want any due dates. So yes, yeah, you don't want to get late fees. Late don't fees are how video stores made all their money. Oh, well, that late was, fees is how the monster spawns, spawns on me and transforms <laughs> faster. <laughs> everyone, know. everyone paid their share of late fees. You always forget movies at one point in your life. Oh, Pixel um, Twink. So yeah, so got it. Are, Sorry. Some amazing cosmetics in there. I think you know more than one Pixel. I know. I think. Mine are a little scattered in there here and there. Yeah. But no, some stuff in there. it's some stuff. clowns. A little bit. A little bit. Oh. All right. Um, oh. Then there's also some new gameplay we clowns. added. Some temporary Ooh. gameplay for the event. Okay. And there you go. Permanent gameplay. Oh, things. clowns. So temporary gameplay. Okay, let's hear it. Clowns. I'm, I'm excited. I don't, I don't even know what's going on. So the temporary one is you can search through the... That's Elias right now. Map ...and find, as teens, you can find pumpkins. Right. You can find your own pumpkin. 
Like, does it have my face on? No. Oh. It has your glowing, your, oh, your, okay. your color of your ping. Okay. Okay. So you'll know which one is Me. yours. All right. And you can actually find other people's too and say, hey. Bro, that skull you trooper. Your, ping, your pumpkin Dude, skull I, for, pumpkins here. Yeah. In the teaser pumpkin. we watched right before this, we saw some immaculate drip. the pumpkin, right. you get a... Uh, I think it's called, uh, it's, it's here somewhere. It's a brain biscuit. A brain biscuit. I think brain that, biscuit. It? It's a zombie brain biscuit. Oh. Ooh, it's got three words, zombie brain biscuits. You can find a zombie brain biscuit. Delicioso. I, I haven't found one yet. You haven't found one? No. Do you know what happens when you get a zombie? I, I think I know what happens, but I'll, I'll let you give it up. I know, I'm not going to say. They can, oh, you can play say. the game and find oh, out. Oh, okay. So something secret happens. Something, something exciting happens. Something exciting. The other thing is, if you're a monster, you They can both have dad mind. energy. What you like mean? Chris and Kara. The we got Papa Helmet and we got Papa Stylus. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. If you find the gourd and you smash it, something, something special something happens. Special happens. I hope. Not to mention, this is, this is honorable mention so to like literally every other Helmet employee that was that was uh, interviewed before, like in the the the, the intro, the skit of the video. You know, I like that a lot. I thought it was cute. I'll do the whole thing. Don't worry. Yeah, perfect. All right, and then the other thing was we've added a permanent new item to the game that you can search through. It was cute. And, it was. And find. Ooh, okay, I know and about this one. I know about this Do you one. know about this one? I know about this one. All right, cool. So I don't need to talk about it then? No, we don't have to talk about it. We can just okay. skip over it. Skip over it. Right. Yeah, the, you know they have fun in that office. Added, uh, Look at all those games. So it's a small little smoke bomb you right. can throw down and make a cloud of smoke. New trash so item that actually you sounds good. This guy's as your, if you have a weapon and stuff, you can hide in there. It's not filling the whole room with smoke. Right. It's just giving you the ability to maybe obscure the room a small amount. I would like it if it also obscured audio because like if you hear really, the teen stop really running, awesome. like, like a lot of times when I'm playing monster, it's like, like the teen stops running, I change how I play. Yeah, the team's still running, I'll keep going. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, it doesn't then, last a long time. It's yeah. very temporary, Right. but it might help out. You Definitely you better than Wonky Tonky. Maybe not as good as Noisemaker, but better than Wonky Tonky. Yeah, Wonky Tonky's pretty good. I don't think people use it correctly. with the patch? Yeah, that's in the patch. There you go. And then Aww, beyond that, true Elias. There's more. The store, the regular rotating store. Right. The entire Halloween event is full of Halloween themed items. Bro, lockers so are usable. Items, you hop out of a monster for items, easy ambushes. There's weapon skins and things. There's all types of stuff oh, in the store. Yeah. It's packed full of stuff. And the team crushed it. Your your team did a lot of work on this. We yeah. Yeah. The team did a great like we we had a long list of things to do yeah. and we they. They killed it. They yeah, we it. asked for a list of things, and we the team it. beat that and really pushed in a few more things because yeah. they were really excited about it. Yeah, yeah. So but there's costumes. There's full costumes. There's, there's all types of things. Yeah, headgear, handgear. There's one that's pants, there's one team thing that's super creepy and cool. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's one of my favorite thing to wear. Yeah, honestly, I put on all my outfits. So. Yeah, when it comes out in the store, I don't want to talk about that because yeah, they don't know. We don't want to. We don't want to. But when you see it, it's. It's a buy. It's that's a lot of people on the team worked on that one, but it's it's a it's a must have. Yeah. Wait, what, are we talking about the different thing now? We're talking about the thing with the thing here. Yeah. Okay, now that would be the wonky tonky buff we need. You can talk to the monster with it. Oh. Glowy that's, thing. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. Pop oh, it, Chris. Oh, I heard thing. you. Yeah, that thing's I don't know what you were talking about. Oh, I thought it was something else. Okay. okay. <laughs> There's lots of cool stuff. So. <laughs> that thing's really cool. That thing's really really cool. So yeah, that's that. that's that's a lot for one update. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Do we have anything? Coming up after that, or can we talk about anything? Like, is there anything after that? I don't know. I don't know. Um, is there anything going on? Yeah. What's going on? Um, well, for November, we are targeting to have a new game mode. Ooh. The new game mode is really exciting. I'm it's, really curious yeah, sure. how a it's new a game will go. Mode where you can create oh a private party. These are customs. Okay, I'm about to say. And you can play a game with just your friends. You're not. All right, so. I'm super excited about this one because they already have a random monster implication system in custom. So you, we like literally guys, if VHS is like still dead from November, we can like just get five people in there and just play for hours because like the monster will keep changing. Like you queue up with your monster and your team. This is also exciting because comp will be a thing. We'll be seeing like that VHS comp discord and like them playing like super sweaty VHS, which I would love to watch. Um, and then also what I'm really excited about uh, true customs is content creators, like really big content creators that don't want to sit there and grind pubs, but they want to play with their friends, kind of like the people that play like Among Us and like, you know, the, the like big streamers that don't really game, but only game with other streamers. You know what I mean? 
they'll get their hands on this and play it. It's free. They have customs. And I feel like that'll actually bring in a lot of potential players. I really want that shit. Not, you're not ranking with somebody online. You're right. not matchmaking with someone online. Because a lot of people didn't want to play the game when they're learning or if they were like a streamer group that wanted to play. A streamer play group. That's what I'm saying, playing. man. Right. People online, right. they wanted to play with their friends. Right. So we're adding a mode. Yeah, so exactly. Actually, Big streamers don't play games, bro. Game <laughs> they only back. play customs for content. Right. right. Yeah. All the time. Like Ludwig. And it's a really exactly. Cool mode because you can vote to um, be a monster if you want to be. So if multiple people in the group, it's invisible. No one else knows. If you choose to be a monster, you can switch between, you can set up your teen and your monster, and you can adjust your monster in a lobby because it's not a ranked game. So you can mm -hmm. go in there. Um, and you can choose, and the game will just like who's all picked to be the monster. If no one picks, it will pick somebody random. Yup, yup. If, yep. if, if no one pick, picks, it will pick from the same five. Yeah. But if only a couple pick, it'll pick from the people who want. Bro, to be monster, make that which, base which really kit, cool. bro. And then, put um, that in the online queue. All the perks, Instant queues all day. And all the mutations. And it's just fun mode. Yeah, because it's... because we're not. There's no reason to grind for that because right. you're playing with your friends and you don't want to have a new friend join. And you already can adjust your teen appearance. Oh, you mean as monster? They have nothing unlocked. It doesn't give you the the cosmetics and all those things. You still have right. to play the regular game to get all those pieces. Right. And to progress your journey. Because sometimes and the teens will swap um, cosmetics to spoil I mean, who's a teen. For, you know. But this is a game mode that's no it's danger. Like a fun party mode, Not scared also, anymore. We can do really cool things. Like we can do tournaments. Yeah. So we can basically say, well, you're going to be the monster in this round, and our four guys are going to fight against you, and then you have a group of your friends, and you fight against. Us Honestly, and will be yeah. the monster, and we can set up full. I don't know, Sheldon. Like you think so? East. I don't know if we're quite esports. Not yet. Maybe. We can't. Well, I don't think we can. They're really going to be insta leaving if they get I monster. No, nah, I think most people will just play it out because Sheldon. So this is so take this and then take my. Did I, did I have a command for it? Is this it? My proposition to fix team cues. Okay. So with this, like. If you play a game of your non-designated role, you get, like, autofill protection, right? So AFK, I mean, that's fine. We kill them really quick and go next. Still an instant queue for a low-quality game is no big deal, man. That's what I'm saying. But when you wait 30 minutes and have a low-quality game, that's when it's a problem. But you wait less than 5 minutes for a low-quality game, it's no big deal. You just go next. And not every monster is going to AFK, bro. Ain't no way, dog. Like, people play Friday the 13th and they didn't cry when they got Jason. People play Among Us, they don't cry when they get an Imposter. Like, come on, dude. I'm saying, like, if it was already an integral part of the game and not some DVD player uh esque bullshit, like, come on. And they oh. open it up and it says esports. So, oh, that's how it works? That's how it works. So and they yeah. like roll some numbers first because no one ever uses those numbers but they actually lock their case, their oh. case visual right. tracking for monster that for people that you know oh, okay. accessibility <laughs> right that's <laughs> a big thing too <laughs> pop the case open <clears throat> and then steam goes and then music and then, plays and then goes esports do you want to join <laughs> esports yeah that's awesome but, it's all, that. but the, the custom game mode though I think it's great for people that also want to try new things like if you want to try yeah. like you're like, oh, I want to try this perk, or is this perk even? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention you. Like, you can actually join as one person. I literally you just don't agree, man. The, I don't agree. Game mode. I sit here and I play with the same five people for hours and hours and hours, and they are they do not mind playing monster. If you could play one monster game and get guaranteed four instant Q team games, that is too good an opportunity to pass up. Too good. And just spawn a map. And it's not a game, then you're just yeah. a single person running around the map to learn the map. Because a lot, a lot of people, right? October, they could at least try. Don't just they get, they shut it down. Familiar with the high school with your fucking sub 100 so player count VHS. How things like, are right now? Like, come I, on, there's man. There's no way to learn this without being in a sweaty match with people trying to kill me. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or, or the worst is when you're on a team and you don't know how to play the game and you don't know how to move around. And yeah. You feel like you're failing the people on your team. Yeah. So if you have a safe place you can just walk around the map and learn it, that's great, and it helps a lot of people like. Some people like to map and figure things out or try different things with mm -hmm. weapons. You can totally experiment and have fun with it. Yeah. You can go and craft at stations. JP's going to find all the Molly spots on every new map. Uh, not in that mode. I think to craft them there. But they're unlocked. Yeah, all yeah, the weapons. You, yeah, you get all the weapons unlocked in that right. mode. So you don't have to, like, if you've just started playing, I'm sure they're aware of it. If you read it, all, they've all definitely heard it, right? Category. But, yeah, it's it's just a really fun mode. For You also can go in with two players, and one of you will be the monster and one of you will be the team, just to practice yeah. if you want to. So it's a, it's a great mode where it, it doesn't have to be... Um, super super sweaty and, yeah, yeah, and just online, for fun. so just, just for fun, just, just, just for fun, and just chill out. which I think our game that's what our 
kind of like i'm so happy they said this because this is what i agree wholeheartedly that's why they haven't talked about like a rank system because like if competitive happens if esports happens like fine do that in customs organize yourself have a good time yeah that's what i'm saying but like it's meant to be for fun it's meant to be a little serious that's coming out it decides on the players and that's so cool that's not out with this release it's gotten until november though. that's a long time from now and um it's still exciting closer to that we'll let you know but it's in in november that's about all i can say for that awesome so it's a cool update that's big. Right, I'm right, excited. October. It I feels know. bad when you pay your monster taxes for no reward. So right now. Yeah, but if you so had bad. a reward for it, um, good stuff, man. No. Okay. You guys covered That's... it all. Cool. I don't know. We probably missed something. It says um, it says the word spoon here. I didn't say that. Spoon. It's, <laughs> it's happening. Spoon. Um, oh, that's what Sam would say. Sam. Sam G. Yeah. I hope everyone really likes it. Um, we're going to do more of these updates. I don't know where we're going to catch questions, but if I know some people had some questions last time, Jeff will be back for the more of a deep dive gameplay update. You don't, you don't like me being here? No, I do. I do. Oh, okay. I, I, he just can answer things that I can't answer about right. the gameplay. Cause... I can answer cosmetic stuff. Yeah. A few right. days, bro. It's October 12th. Cool. That's at yeah, least three weeks away. And um, when they say November, I, I know a lot of I guarantee Dexter they mean like so later in November. I don't think yeah. they mean like yeah. November 1st. You know what I'm saying? So, I think they mean like November 20th. I didn't even know about that. Oh, yeah. That sounds cool. It's really cool. It's really cool. It's crazy. It's my thank you um, for for willingly um, do, doing this with I, me today. Thank you for bringing me on. I really appreciate it. I'm, All right. I think we're meandering now. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Bye. Video Horror Society, Dev Notes Vlog, October 11th. Woo! Oh, hey, Jeff. Oh, now? Oh, okay. Oh. Wordly. Hey, Karen. Hey, Chris. Hey, could you possibly help me with yeah. the game? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. wait, I haven't even said the yeah. words yet. Let's go, let's go. Come on, let's do it right now. Right. Let's go. Let's, let's go. do it. Bro, he's about it. I respect I that. Yo, I need me a Hellbent hoodie. There you go. I'm getting it. <laughs> I got my DVD hoodie, but yeah. I'd be cold. I need me a Hellbent <laughs> hoodie now. Thank you so much.